Alrighty, so part two, we're back. This time my opponent is up in the seven, 1,700 uh, points with a really powerful looking team. Wow, this guy is not messing around. He just brought all threats. And unfortunately, this is one of those teams where Mega Glalie just doesn't really help out as much as I'd like him to. Because um, normally when people bring teams like this, they bring either more like the Lottes or at the very least Crobat or Swallow. And I can definitely justify bringing Mega Glalie. Here though, hmm, I think he's either going to start with either the Blaziken or the Salamence, just because I only have one fairy type. And he only has one fairy type as well. So it's much more, I think I'm going to bring Scarf Latios to this battle because Dragon Spam is much more viable with the Pokemon that he has. Uh, hmm. The question is whom to start out with though. Azumarill is looking good, but I'd hate to miss out on the chance to burn all those physical attackers too. This is a very good question here. I really think he's going to bring his Gardevoir. I wonder, I don't know if it's Scarf or not, but I would expect it to be Scarfed. Um, hmm. Let's just start out. I'm not going to make the same mistake as before, as starting off with Sash Alakazam and giving him Prankster. So instead, we're going to start out with Mega Glalie, then Scarf Latios, and then finally... We're gonna bring a zoom roll just in case he brings his Blaziken. Uh, and plus the, the water priority will be nice. It'll also help me out if he happens to have Mega Gyarados. Uh, I can hit that dark side with play rough. So I kind of brought that Pokemon choice down to the wire there. I almost ran out of time to choose my Pokemon. In that case, I think it just chooses the Pokemon randomly for you. It might, I'm not sure. Uh, but he starts off with his Gardevoir, good. This works a lot better than last time. He's gonna trace my Moody. So now we're gonna play a little, um, a little game here to see which stat boost he gets. Hopefully he doesn't get the evasive uh, rise there. But I'm gonna Mega Evolve, hit him with a Refrigerate Boosted Return. Uh, unless he has Focus Blast, I should kill him with the Return, honestly. Um, unless he's Scarfed, in which case he will go first. So let's find out, he's probably Scarfed. Okay, here's the Moon Blast, good. I'd rather see the Moon Blast than a Focus Blast, of course, because I know I can live it. I live it very handily. Here's the Return, and bye-bye. I wish I had done that in the first battle, <laughs> but yay, that is out of the way. If he has Metagross, he's probably going to go out into it right now. And here it comes. What is it? It is Breloom. I, I would love to see a Breloom. Unless he's Scarfed, I'm faster. And uh, I'm just going to hit him with an Ice Shard. He probably is Sashed the way he brought it out here. Um, and I can definitely go out into Latios afterwards to Scarf and, and beat him out on whatever he's going to try to do. So we just get off a free Ice Shard here. I don't think it'll kill, but it will do a significant amount of damage. Fantastic, over 50%. And he goes for Mock Punch, not knowing that Mega Glalie does have base 100 speed, uh, whereas Breloom only has base 70. So when it comes down to the priority, of course, the higher speed will go first. So now we're going to go out into Latios. Um, I know that he only had one fairy, so I'm pretty secure here locking myself in to a dragon type move. Um, I could also lock myself into Shadow Ball in case he brings out Mega Metagross, but I I feel like his last Pokemon is either Blaziken or it is his Salamence. So we're just gonna lock in, well, if that's the case, Blaziken or Salamence, it makes better sense to lock in the Psyshock because uh, then I won't lower my offensive stats and also have a more powerful attack to deal with here. So let's see, Psy Shock or Dragon Pulse is the question. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go for Psy Shock. Uh, I, I just think that that's, right now it's best to go for the safe move and then see what he has left on his last Pokemon. Hopefully it's not Agility Metagross. That would be kind of a pain. Um, I can hit it with a Shadow Ball and I can hit it with an Aqua Jet, but I don't think that's enough to finish it off. So his last Pokemon is, it is Salamence, great because I brought a zoom roll for my last Pokemon. So we're gonna get a chance to, um, I'm just gonna, I'm not going to switch out into a zoom roll in case of this. Uh, this is probably a Mega Salamence. Uh, I really wish I had locked myself into Dragon Pulse though. But you know, hindsight is always 2020. But I should be able to live any one hit from it with my Azuma roll and finish it off with Play Rough. Um, alternatively, if he just goes straight for an attack, it's better to switch out into a zoom roll now and come back in with Latios and then go for a Draco Meteor. That is the question though, isn't it? That is the question. 
He also might go for a dragon type move and then Azumarill can switch in for free. So let's do that. We're going to switch right into Azumarill. Hoping that he goes for a dragon type move. If he doesn't, then I still have the scarf goodness to outspeed him. So let's see what he goes for. He's going to Mega Evolve. There it is. And we get to see the flying kite. I really don't like Mega Salamence's design. I know it's designed to, to focus more on the fact that it's a flying type or whatever. Oh, he did go straight for the double edge. Ow, this is going to hurt. If not, I'll right take me out. Oh, wow, I actually took that. Surprise, surprise. I am very pleased to see that. We're just going to go for Aqua Jet to get a little bit of extra chip damage off. Because I definitely don't outspeed, unfortunately. Uh, and if he does end up going for Dragon Dance, which would be unfortunate. Um, but I want to get off as much damage as I can so that I can use a very safe uh, Dragon Pulse instead of the Draco Meteor. I, I don't actually know if Dragon Pulse will KO him at his level of HP. Um, we're gonna go out into Latios right now. Actually, I'm gonna try to calculate really fast. Let's see. Let's see, Latios with the special attacker versus Mega Salamence. Um, I'm gonna say he, I don't. I doubt he has any uh, investment there. Let's see how much the Dragon Pulse does, though. Dragon Pulse with max special attack and Calcut. Oh wow, Dragon Pulse might. Hmm. Well, if that's the case, I have no reason at all to go for a Draco Meteor. Just a nice, safe Dragon Pulse for sure. Um, it would really suck if I missed. The Draco Meteor. So we're just going to go with that and hope that that KOs. I know Mega Salamence is quite bulky, but hopefully this will do it. And it does. Fantastic. No reason to risk that. I knew I figured that it was a good idea to go ahead and bring Scarf Latios here. He had a lot of speedy threats. I'm very happy with those victories over opponents that have that many more points than me. Because then, of course, you get more points on the rankings board. Uh, so that was a fantastic victory. Good job, team. I'm very pleased with how that one went. I also like live narrating because then I don't have to save the battles. Um, so yeah, that one's going to get uploaded as well. We'll continue the battling. We'll get one more. Oh, I'm at 1685. So close to that 1,700. So very close. And right now we're at 18 and 5 uh, with 23 matches. So I only have 7 matches left that I can actually uh, do. So another per person from Okinawa, a, a region of Japan that I would like to visit actually. They have their own Latios. This is the first time I've seen a Ninetales. Very, very cool. Um, hmm. Definitely another Scarfed Guard of War, it looks like. Mega Gyarados and Mega Mawile. That might be a Specs. It could also be a Scarf Latios, like mine is. Um, probably a Focus Ash Breloom. And the Ninetales is likely this year for the for the Flash Fire. So very, very interesting team here. Um, once again, Glalie is pretty nice for handling some of these um, threats. And now that I know that Glalie can beat uh, Mega Gardevoir one-on-one, -on -one, that's not actually a bad lead. I expect him to lead with Gardevoir or Latias. Uh, and if he, need, if he happens to bring Mawile in, I of course can do a decent chunk of damage to it with Earthquake. Um, but that's not really anything to rely on necessarily. So we're going to start with Glalie and then once Gardevoir is out of the way, I still have to deal with Mawile as far as spamming Dragon type moves. So I and also he resists my Psychic type moves as well. So we're not a, and if he has Mega Gyarados, he's immune. So yeah, we're not going to bring Scarf Latias to this one. Uh, Burn is really tempting against both Breloom and the Mega Mawile to a lesser extent the Gyarados. Mm, I think that Alakazam is going to be good to have in the back pocket. And then the last is going to be Breloom, I think, just because I can mock punch so many members of his team. Uh, hopefully that actually works out there. We'll see. I don't know. Being forced to choose Pokemon that quickly really makes you, it, it, you more often than not end up missing out on some detail. Whether or not you actually, I don't know. It's just hard to think about it in that way, I guess. Alrighty, so we have the same start as last time. And I'm looking at my recording. It looks like something is definitely messed up. I'm not sure what. But I'll deal with that in just a second here. I might have to use the iPhone recording, which would be really shitty. 
But you know, we do what we have to do. We're gonna Mega Evolve, go for Return, just like last time. Hopefully he just goes for Moonblast. Moonblast, oh yeah. Alrighty, so we had the Mega Evolution active with the red eyes of Peth. Wow, I outsped it, he is not Scarfed. He's defensive? He is defensive. He's gonna go for Hyper Voice, that's gonna do a little bit more damage. No, it's not, he doesn't get his, um. he doesn't actually get the boost from Pixelate because he's not Mega Evolved. So that's interesting that he's not using that. Uh, I'm just gonna get a chance to go for Ice Shard here. He did get the special attack boost, but it's not going to help him out very much. He decides to withdraw the Guard of War, and he's gonna go out into probably Mega Mawile. No, it's Gyarados. So I'm gonna get Intimidated here, which is a little annoying. Um, I definitely don't wanna explode yet, and I'm gonna hold on to, to Glalie, of course. Uh, what's he gonna go for, though? Is he gonna go for Dragon Dance? Is he gonna Mega Evolve? Of course, if he does make a evolve, I need to save Alakazam so that I can use the Sash to hit him with the Dazzling Gleam. I'm just going to go out into Breloom, assuming he's going to use a Water or a uh, Dark type move. He might, if he does make a evolve though, then I'll just get to mock punch him in the face, which will be very nice. Um, and it's too bad when he mega evolves, he no longer takes neutral damage. Oh, he just decided to go for Thunder Wave. Interesting. It's, I'm happy I switched. My Lumberry will get rid of that status condition. And I'll be able to put him to sleep. We'll be able to see if he's uh, max speed or not. He's using Intimidate and not Moxie, so I'm actually not sure what to expect. And that's in that part of things. But let's see what type of Gyarados this is. I'm expecting it to be more bulky since he's using Thunder Wave, actually. Uh, he might actually switch out, too, expecting the Spore. Well, I know I can't knock it out. Rock Tomb won't knock it out either. So I might as well just go for Spore. And I can guarantee that I get off a couple of hits there. So come on, he's, it looks like he's deciding to, to see if he wants to switch or not, which means mm, it doesn't, I, I would think that he doesn't have the Lumberry on his Gyarados, which is interesting too, or her Gyarados, I don't know. I don't know the genders of the people that I face. I'm not paid to know these things. Um, yeah, this is definitely not recording, even though it says that it is, I don't understand. Oh well, whatever. I have it on my iPhone. That's the important thing. Alrighty, so I get to go out and he gets to have the spore on this thing, which is nice. Uh, he has to sleep for at least one turn, so that means I just get to go for Bullet Seed. No reason to overpredict. If he switches out into Gyarados, it'll take decent damage from a Bullet Seed as well. But I'm happy to have... Oh, he, he does have the Mega Evolution on the Gardevoir. I'm not sure why they evolved in now, though. It's going to die. Um... You don't see how sleep talk? No? Yeah, that's gonna be it for Gardevoir. I am okay with that. Yeah, I'm not really sure what happened to my recording here. Part 2 might have weird audio. We will see. We will see. We are a flexible bunch, you and I. And me and you. Together we are just like Zabu Mafu. I don't know why I said that. That was weird. Okay, so against Latios... Um... Hmm... He has no reason not to just use dragon type moves. Uh, I know he can't Mega Evolve with either of his two remaining Pokemon. I would really like to save Breloom, but I need to bring in Glalie safely to hit it with an Ice Shard, actually. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to mock Punch it. Um, yeah, That's all I can really do in this situation. Hopefully he doesn't have any setup moves. I don't think he will, though. That actually did a decent amount of damage. I'm surprised it did that much. Alright, so he does just go straight for Psychic. Unfortunate, yes. But I didn't want to risk switching out of him doing anything weird, I guess, at the end of the day. Uh, so now I get to go out into... Hmm. Glalie or Alakazam. Glalie or Alakazam. Glalie should be able to live a hit, I would imagine. Um... I wonder how much a Psychic does to the typical Mega Glalie. Let's see here. Psychic. To... I'm running out of time. Hurry, Steven. Hurry. Mega Glalie. Alrighty. Let's cut that. It's a 2 KO almost guaranteed. Okay, so he has a chance of finishing off Mega Glalie. Which sucks. Okay, so that means the more surefire thing here is to go into Alakazam and hit it with the Dazzling Gleam. Because I know that Mega Glalie outspeeds the Gyarados. 
So I'm going to hit him with a Dazzling Gleam right now. I believe Dazzling Gleam and Shadow Ball have the same base power, actually. Um, they do. Alrighty. So Dazzling Gleam looks cooler and it's newer and it's shiny. So I'm going to go for that. Alright, so Dazzling Gleam is going to hit Gyarados, it looks like, actually. I wonder if he's scarfed. That would be interesting. Uh, he's going to get Intimidate off here. This is great because now I can hit Gyarados with a Psychic type attack before it does anything to me. Um, Dazzling it is a very bulky Gyarados. Wow. So Psychic type move here. He might just go for Thunder Wave again. And that's a little annoying, but if I can get out of this without having my Sash broken, that would be prime. Nope, he's just going to go for the Thunder Wave. That's fine. Because now he's in range of an Ice Shard from Mega Glalie. He is going to get to break my Sash, so that's unfortunate. But if he is Scarfed, which is what I think his Latias is, or Latios rather, um, he will be in a precarious position because he will have to choose what he's locking himself into um, before my Glalie comes back out. So will he chance going for Psychic or maybe he'll have Draco Meteor or something? I don't know. We're about to find out. Either way, though, I get to hit him with something if he, I don't know, if he misses something, I don't know. I'm going to show him the Shadow Ball, just show him that I have it. It's like, hey, look at all this coverage I get. Even Steel types don't want to. Okay, so he does go for Psychic, which is probably his strongest move. That'll probably knock me out. Yep. I was hoping I could live it. Oh, that would have been nice to live that move. I think he's Scarfed, the way he switched out and back in. Just the way he did that. So he has a chance to KO me here. Uh, I don't think... I can KO him at all with Ice Shard. Let's see. This is really, really difficult. I could just go for Return, which definitely would KO him. Or I could go for Ice Shard, which I don't even think would KO with a crit. So I think I have to go for Return. Then I could go for a Return Ice Shard combination instead of just two Ice Shards. So we're going to go for Return because he he's going to use Psychic. Maybe I will live. Oh no, Mega Glalie! Come on, buddy. You could have taken that hit, man. Oh well, I ended up losing that match. Not good. Not good at all. Man, I would have. I felt like I could have pulled that out. I just. Uh, whatever. Whatever. You win some, you lose some. Um, the audio on the second part might have sounded weird. I'm sorry about that. Sony Vegas was being stupid. So hopefully on the third part here, I will be able to get it sounding normal. Alright, hold on just a minute, guys.